Hey guys, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014 with me, Brad M73. Uh, let's see, we are getting back into it. Now we're at up to order number 51, replace or repair all broken parts. I was showing off to my friend last night, oh man, I burned some rubber. Check if I've broken anything. There is another party tomorrow and my ride is going to rock. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> well... We'll just have to do a full inspection of your car. Starting with the OBS check. Uh, we'll run it through the diagnostic path, and then we'll do the uh, test drive for it. That'll tell us, <clears throat> you know, 90% of what uh, what we need to uh, fix, pretty much. All right. We can even... Put it on the... We can even tune it up. Okay. Diagnostic path. Yes. Front brake tester. Oh, press and hold brake. Yeah, helps if I do that. <laughs> oh, your brakes are in crap condition. Uh... Rear brakes, I guess, are all right. And the pit shaker. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so I think the brakes are going to be not in good shape. <laughs> Come on, load, 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 load. I don't know why it takes so long to load there. Do you? Probably not. <laughs> um, well, we can kind of... Oh yeah, I can see the front pads are worn out there. What about the rear pads? And the rear pads look all right. Nothing Nothing else is really jumping out at me. Let's go ahead and just test drive it. It might just be the front brakes. <laughs> you know what? It's, they probably burnt the darn clutch out. Stop. I'm I'm so spoiled by Euro Truck and the ability to look around the, you know, look around while you're driving. It's just how I roll. Get it? Roll. Driving wheels roll. <laughs> okay, that was bad. Now, now what, what the problem is. Come on, load, load. All right. Oh, I see a couple things wrong. Ooh, a lot wrong. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. <clears throat> we'll just start with the front brakes. There's those, and... Ah, they're red hot! No, I'm just kidding. They are red as in fail. Let's do all these at once. Come on! Oh, come on. You have to be, like, right on the money with these things. Alright, so there's that. 
And what was screwed up in the rear here? Well, there's your problem. Oh, come on. I don't want to be inside you because that would be more disturbing than amusing. Um, all right, fuel filters, all right. Just wanted to, oh, wrong way. All right, so let's get these front brake pads. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we can fix those drive shafts. One, two, three, four. And <clears throat> I wish I could click up there just to go into reassemble mode. Get on there, brick pad, all right. Now the Calipar. <clears throat> I'll make sure to put your right tire on the left side. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good to do. All right, so there's that one. And brake pads. More brake pads, calipers, and tire, get on there. Okay. Oh, now we have to take all this off because I gotta take those shafts out. Oh, yes. At least I don't have to take all... Okay, at least I don't have to jack the car up again. I really hope I can repair those. Oh, come on. <clears throat> there we go. Come here, workbench. No! Alright, well then. Alright, so... Whoops. Sell this, sell that one, sell that one, and that one. So the right drive axle and the... well, the drive axle left, drive axle right, okay. Drive axle left, drive axle right. Okay, reassemble mode. Oh gosh. Get the wheel on, there we go. There. Put it in. The there we go. Screw that in and wheel. What do you guys think? Do you think we'll be done or do you think there's going to be something else hiding? Oh, we're done. Great. Yeah, nine. Hey, wait. When when did this turn to German? We must be in Germany now. That's what. So we must talk like Germans for the rest of the episode. And of course, all the Germans are like, who are actually watching this are probably rolling their eyes, or or they're like hitting the dislike button. <laughs> Replace or repair all damaged parts. Change oil. Okay, seventy-five. Holy crap! There must be a lot wrong here. Eh? All right. We got a nice looking car. What'd you do to F it up? 
<clears throat> All right, full diagnostic. Probably let his wife drive it again, right? <laughs> okay. No. Diagnostic path. Hello, my son. You have traveled a long way, but now you must take the diagnostic path. Yeah, brakes look good there. <clears throat> Come on, brakes, brakes. Okay, brakes look good. And the shaker. Oh, I see a problem with the right rear suspension. And, oh no, that was the right front. <laughs> what? They must have hit a dead body or something. What is it with all these people hitting dead bodies? Suspension on a car that new should never be that shot. Okay, test drive. Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the clutch is bad. And something in the steering. Okay. That, oh my gosh. Yeah, something's definitely wrong. Oh. Something in the steering is definitely wrong too. I'm, I'm convinced of that. Brakes sound like crap, but I don't think uh, I thought the brakes were all right, weren't they? I don't know. I forgot already. All oh, these cars—they're blurring together. Okay, so now we should be able to find all the stuff that's wrong. Holy moly! All right, well, we'll just start taking stuff off. Oh gosh. Do I even need to take the wheel off? Well, I need to take this one off for sure. Because this one is shot. To hell in a handbasket. Okay. Oh, let's see something else that's red. I need to jack it up for that. Uh, this one, this one's like one of the most randomly bad I've seen in a while. <laughs> it's like, what did you do? Did you take your car off roading or what? Well, at least I can take this off. Okay. I need to jack it up. Jack it up. Alright. Take the... Oh, wait. i to take this off first. Yep. Now I can take this off. Now this I can repair, I know. Okay. Moving to the rear. That's what she said. Um, okay. <clears throat> Oh, come on. There we go.
You know what? I don't know if I needed to take that left rear uh, tire off. Can't remember if I needed to take it off for the shock absorber or what. Um, there we go. Take that one out. All right, so we got all kinds of crap we need to fix. All right, so let's go over to our table. So yeah, these we can fix for a lot cheaper than a new one would cost. Um, okay, so what do I need to buy? I need to buy a Sakeo wheel, X, LX500 wheel. We don't want the Asian MILF, I mean the Asian Cougar <laughs> wheel. Um, Seleco X5 fan wheel reptile. Oh. Okay, we need to buy that one. Holy crap. I think I need two of these. Uh, I need one of those little... Um, Drive shaft ends. Oh, I need a drive axle left, I know. Um, I think I need to go down further. Oh, I need one of these. Outer tie rod, yes. And... Sway bar and link right, yes. I need a rear suspension spring and I, th oh, the rear shock absorber. I think that's everything I need actually. <clears throat> so let's go into reassemble mode. Okay. Well, I will. I will go ahead and put this in. Use. Yes. Um. Okay. Shock absorber spring rear. Yes. Uh, let's do the shock absorber itself. Yes. And the screw's hiding again. Pop that on, and muffler, oh, here we go again, here we go, okay, do, oh, do I need to change the oil, yeah, get my oil thing here, I'm glad I remembered that. Line myself up here with the oil thing. There we go. Oh, and by the way, if you've never done this before and you forget to use your oil pan, the oil will just spray all over the floor and... Uh, <laughs> Won't be good. Come on. No. Oh, I need to get out of this mood. Uh, come on. Why don't we just get any easy jobs anymore? I haven't had an easy job in a while. Alright, so we're just... Uh, Wait, what was that? Oh, we're in disassemble, disassemble mode. It's like, what? Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I wonder if I'll be able to inspect the oil filter. Nope. Well, I sure hope the oil filter's not bad. <laughs> Actually, most, of, most everything here seems to be like suspension and drive are related. So as long as the uh, the um, 
you know, there's not something wrong in the transmission, I think we'll be all right. I can dream, can't I? I don't know though, they gave us a lot of money. So, just watch with my luck. It'll be like, replace the whole engine. You know, I am really, I, I am really surprised that they, um, that they didn't, uh, have like actual engine repairs. I mean, there's like spark plugs, but you know, like, you know, pi uh, like piston rods or, um, camshafts and stuff like that. Uh, that's, that was really like my only big disappointment with the game. All right. I think I have all the parts in. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and sell all this. And I think all we need to do now is just fill up the oil and we should be set. Hopefully. Come on, get done. Go. Put the cover back on. Let's see if this is that everything? And it's not. Okay, so there's still more damaged parts. Well, about the only other thing we could um, now. Let's see. Let's look at. Even look at that. Let's check out all the belts and everything. <clears throat> oh, come on. Belts are looking all right so far. You know what? You know what's really going to suck is it's going to be something like inside the actual transmission. Shoot, I bet you anything that's what it's going to be. Darn it. And we can't look inside. Um, yeah, see, we have to actually take that off. Uh, Do we get everything here? Yeah, um, we didn't get the spark plugs. Oh, the spark plugs are good. And... Oh, come on. Come on! The spark plugs are good. Um, well, let's just, uh, test the, uh, uh, we'll need to look at the oil filter. Oh, well, you got your oil change and don't need a new oil filter though, which is good. Check your air filter here. That's good. Um, I'm going to just jack up the car again. I'm going to just do a full muffler inspection. Actually, I got to put all this back together first, don't I? And if it's not, if it's not the muffler, and I'm also going to check the fuel pump. Uh, 
or the fuel filter, I'm sorry. Okay, that's in good shape. Pretty sure the fuel pump is all right, yep. This muff, one muffler was good. Um, I'm actually not expecting any problems with the muffler. What the heck was that? Oh, it was the light. Come on. Uh, <clears throat> no. Okay, so the converter's bad. So in the interest of saving time, I have actually wasted a lot of time again. <laughs> okay, I can't see what I'm doing, but I can see those screws. Through the through steel, I've got x-ray vision. Now I'm pretty sure I cannot fix a catalytic converter. So Okay. We'll look really quick, but I don't think I can fix this. Nope. I didn't think so. Uh, where do I have to go? Oh, yeah. I wish I could hold down shift to run. They really need that in this game. <laughs> okay, wait a second. I think the catalytic converters would be around all the muffler stuff. Here's all the exhaust manifold. There we go. Holy monkeys. Oh, gosh, look at the discount we got on it, though. That's good. What up, Mariner Learning Books? <clears throat> Yay, we maxed out the Master of Commerce. Now we'll get the best discounts available. Should have I should have gotten the discount back there, but oh well. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's uh, turn around. And we'll just hopefully pop this in, and hopefully we'll be done finally. I'll we'll get in the hole. Almost, almost maybe done. Oh, come on. I really don't like the angles, the viewing angles in this game. It's not. It's not impossible, but just kind of one of those things where, you know, if you pop the muffler in, you would think that they could make it so that the, um, yay, now we're done. You would think that they would make it, what? Why does it say everything's fixed? Everything's fixed. Do I have to lower it? Wait, did I not put the... Oh, I didn't put the cat back on. The engine cover. Now. Yay! Alright. Oh, man, the pressure... Check and replace damaged parts. It's an SUV, but it's not suitable for driving off-road. I've now learned this. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, 
All right, well, test drive. Well, it would be OBD check. We're, we're going all out on this episode. We're checking everything. And done. All right. Come on. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to do test drive. I don't think I'm going to worry about the diagnostic path this episode. I don't know, though. Maybe I should. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see... Man, look how fast this sucker goes. I mean, that thing speeds up faster than that Mustang-looking thing. Steering's pretty good. Um, I said the steering's pretty good. <laughs> or not. And there we go. Come on. Okay. Oh. No, there's one problem. Alright, well, let's start looking at things, I guess. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I thought that it would actually... Oh, man, come on. Why you gotta be like that? any parts um you know what i oh shoot i guess i'll just jack it up okay parts inspection let's go Ooh, that shot oh seriously I actually have to take those off, do I? Oh, gotta take this off. Okay, while I am here, I'm gonna inspect this. I can't believe I can't inspect this bloody thing. Oh god. Well, I'm probably going to have to take these springs out anyway, so I'm just going to take both of the mufflers off. Come on. What's the spring at? Okay, that spring's good. That uh, suspension arm is good. The shock is in terrible condition. Okay, that bushing is good. Oh, come on, view. Okay, got to take this off. Oh, I'm in reassemble mode. That's what the problem is. Okay, that one's good. And that shock is good. Okay. So I'm just going to put the shock back in. Wait, was that suspension spring bad or good? It was good. Okay. Okay, so the one suspension arm I can repair for 209.
instead of let's see how much does that cost? I need a new shock. There we go. Bruce has spent yeah, they're like five hundred bucks. Wait, did I need a new tire for that? Yeah, Grand Olsen wheel. The Vulcan family wheel. Grand Olsen wheel. There you go. <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, start off with. Oh, I just had it. Come on. There we go. Okay. I think we just need to put this on, on the back. Okay. Now, unlike the last episode, I am just going to go ahead and do the... Uh, oh. Glad I did that. Let's take a look. Okay. Actually... I need to check the header really quick. Or otherwise known as the exhaust manifold right here. What the heck? Why can't I inspect this? Oh, snap. Come on. Okay, so that's good. So what was it I needed? I needed another piece of a muffler. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of the... This is the Olsen twin. Wait, okay. Muffler V6 rear right. Muffler V6 rear right. Okay. Wait, didn't I need the middle muffler? Wait, did I just sell the middle muffler? Oh, I guess I didn't take it off. Okay. Okay, well. Here I'm derping again. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, middle muffler, yep. Okay, reassemble. Yes. Okay, get that one on there. Yep. Yeah, no one knows better than me uh, that you can seriously screw up a muffler uh, going off-roading. Um, <clears throat> years ago when I first bought my Jeep, uh, what am I doing? Oh, looking for this. Years ago when I first bought my Jeep, I dented uh, one of my exhaust pipes. It wasn't like super bad, but um, it kind of needed to be hammered back into, like ha kind of hammered straight a little bit. Okay. You know what I didn't do? I didn't inspect that. Let's see how we're looking here. Oh, we're done. Yay, proceed to next order. All right. Thankfully, that one went fairly fast. What is this one? Order number 54? 
54? Yes, it is. Uh, perform chip tuning. Hey, I, I think my husband had my car repaired here. I've taken some racing lessons and want to try to race myself. Can you tune my car to the absolute maximum? Oh, great. Um, well, actually, I kind of learned... I've kind of learned a uh, trick, and I don't know if this is going to work or not. So I'm going to just start the original dyno test. Okay. Okay, I'm going to see if I can figure this out. Um, had something to do with getting all, you have to get, okay, no, are those even? Yeah, those are even. Okay, so there's the proper ratio. Okay, apparently I failed this again. Um, okay, those are two at the right ratio. Okay, that's the proper ratio. This is only going to give us like a 20% increase though. Um, is that going to make her happy? think it will. Um, I'm trying to remember. No, it was something like Oh, maybe this is it. Yeah, you have to get two of them even, and then I think you just go middle, left, middle, no. Eh. Wait. No. shoot no I screwed it up let's see here <clears throat> okay so we go there decrease the metal check that up decrease the metal maybe Okay, okay, this looks good. This looks good. Right EEPROM. That should be... Should be 40%? Did I get it? Did I get it? <laughs> you know, after the last episode, I think I had several people comment that everybody hates the dino. And, yeah, I, I, I know why. <laughs> 
All right, 40%. Okay, it faded to black, so that must mean that we're done. Come on. Okay. Done. And one more order, and we will be all set to go. Don't know where we're going to go, but we'll go there. I don't know where I'm going to go when the episode is over. Mount New Exhaust. Oh my gosh. I was driving to work this morning and my exhaust pipe fell off. I should have it fixed. I, sh I should have it fixed it before, but now I have to get a new one. Damn straight you do, brother. Alright, I'm just going to check your header. Does he want a new header or just... Does he want a completely new exhaust? Okay, there's 1500 bucks. How much is the header for that? Okay, there's the exhaust manifold. Let's take a look and see what actually needs to be replaced. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess it did fall off, didn't it? Okay, we'll take this off. I'm really good at unscrewing things backwards. We are. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna be super disappointed. I, you know, I don't think he needs a new exhaust manifold. He, whoop, wait a second. You need a first of all, you need a exhaust pipe front and a catalytic converter. Oh, these I can sell. Okay, exhaust pipe front, yes. Exhaust pipe middle, yes. Exhaust pipe, no. Rear, yes. Um, where's the... Holy crap. How much did this guy pay us? 1500 bucks? Uh, wait a second here. I think I might actually lose money on this one. I guess technically I didn't need to replace that. Your cat. Oh, the cat's actually in decent shape. Get in there. Oh man, okay. I was gonna... I was gonna be kinda shocked. No suitable parts. Okay, so this is where I need the middle muffler. Where's the mid muffler? I don't want the catalytic converter. Middle muffler, yep. Oops. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. 
Moving right along, yeah. Well, I forgot I'm supposed to be speaking like a German this episode. Schlügen and schlagen schlugen. Wait, what? What the heck part? I thought I had the part. Oh, I guess I didn't have the part. Uh, muffler reader. There we go. Come on, there we go. And screw, screw it on. Okay. There you go, mine Fraulein. Have a very good day. That will be 1500 US dollars, even though we are in Germany, as it clearly spells out here on the work order. Now, why everything else? Well, not everything else is in German, because we, here we can see that these things are not in German. And I don't even know what the German word for repaired is. So, have a very good day. <laughs> All right, guys, um, this car is repaired. We're going to proceed to the next order, but we're not going to do the next order because the episode's getting so long. I think, guys, we're almost like at like 50 minutes or something. I don't know. I didn't really look. Solve the start, start, solve starting problem. Well, that's your starter and solve noise problem. Well, that's your muffler. All right, guys. Well, I think that'll do it. Uh, we'll come back and we'll fix this car in the next episode. Um, we should hit episode 60 in the next episode. I don't know how many, I, I have no clue how many, uh, repair orders there are. There could be 60, 70, I don't know. So maybe next episode, next couple episodes might be the last in the main, uh, I can't say storyline, but you know, the main campaign. It's not even really a campaign. Does a, does a car mechanic go on a campaign when he goes to work? We will conquer the cars! Um, I don't know, but um, I'm going to just keep going until uh, we finish whatever we finish. So, guys, thanks again for watching. This is Car Mechanic Simulator 2014, and I'm Brad M73. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now.